in this video, I'll show you a super easy way to paint the Imperial Bunker from Star Wars Legion. This was originally meant for a narrative campaign we were going to run in store, but since the government wants us all to stay at home, that's just not going to happen. I was going to do a build and paint guide for the bunker, but Annie insisted he was going to complete it before me. Well, he built it, but he didn't get to painting it. And he's busy with work right now. So it's up to me to finish the fight. I'm going to try to replicate the same color scheme as shown on the box to get that Roger Rabbit effect. Since this is a huge piece of terrain, I'm going to appreciate the entire thing to build up towards my base color. Start with white primer for the whole bunker, then pick out the shadows with black primer to create a natural gradient. I also appreciate the recesses between the panels. This will give the flat geometry more dimension. I recommend that you keep the base and rail of the bunker together so that the pre-shade looks cohesive. If you were to separate them while painting the recesses, the effect may not sink together nicely. Then I base the entire bunker with a grey, spraying from a high angle because this will create natural shading. Maybe I should have used a lighter grey to allow the black pre-shade to be more prominent. Live and learn. As shown on the box, the setting is Endor, so it only makes sense to weather the bunker. I use a dry brush to incorporate some mud texture to the bottom of the bunker. Then I fold up with dabbing on some PVA glue onto the structure and sprinkled on some loose foliage as moss. I had to do this in sections because the effective working time with PVA is really short. The glue won't be effective at holding clumps of moss by itself, so I apply isopropyl alcohol to set the foliage more securely. As you see on the box, the paint on the bunker has faded over time, so I experimented with an unconventional method to recreate that sun bleach effect. I removed the head from my airbrush and sprayed ISO through it. By doing so, you get these random droplets of ISO over the surface, leaving little watermarks over the entire bunker, which simulates sun bleaching. Finally, give it a matte varnish to seal in everything. The pre-shirt really gives the bunker more dimension, especially on the flat geometry. I think the sun bleach effect is a little too subtle, it's only obvious when you look at it at the right angle. Maybe I could have used methylated spirits instead of isopropyl alcohol, because methyl tends to leave behind a white residue, which is desirable in this case. And if you have a better solution, feel free to leave in the comments below. But overall, the Imperial Bunker looks great on any tabletop. Thank you for watching the video, and see you in the next one. But wait! Just a quick announcement before I end the video. If you're looking for a spot to socialize and talk about any type of game and hobby, feel free to join our Discord server. We got theme text and voice chats, music bots, as well as private rooms. And the best part, it's free. Links in the description. We had the server for a while, but people weren't aware of it. That's probably why.